Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the storage unit. We have a haul, no, we just did a haul video. Then we have a what's old video for you right now. We just recorded the haul like an hour ago. <laughs> so we headed right here. We did get a coffee on the way. Yeah. And we had some more support <laughs> yeah. we want to thank you all for. Um, so I did want to thank Cheryl for buying us a coffee. Said love watching and learning from you too. So thank you so much, Cheryl. Cheryl, we appreciate that. And then Anna also bought us a coffee and then said love watching your videos. Question, do you recommend buy it now or best offer um, on eBay? So personally, I just only do buy it now. Mm -hmm. I think we've done our, I guess, yeah. I was thinking in my head, uh, Buy it now versus... Auction? What, yeah, I was thinking okay. auction, yeah, but yeah, she's yeah. saying buy it now or versus best offer. So, accepting offers. Yeah, yeah, so I just don't like offers. I don't know. I don't have a good reason. I think the reason we've kind of strayed away from the uh, accepting offers is eBay in the past has not like demanded payment when they yeah. when they did that. So or the payment would be... offers, which requires them yeah. to not have to pay either. So it's tricky. I think eBay is pretty much done with the no I think they're getting thing. rid of the whole, the, they're making everybody pay as soon as they buy yeah. something, whether or not it's on offer, which is good. The other thing is I, you know, when I was doing shoes mostly, I was, you know, paying on average around $10 a pair to yeah. hopefully sell around 30 on average, yeah. which didn't leave a whole lot of room for negotiation. Mm -hmm. And I was pricing at market value. So like, I don't want to have the price high just to leave room for offers. Yeah. And my experience with offers like on Posh, because you can't not accept offers on Posh, is that like people offer like half offer more. So right. I just don't like that. I'd rather just price it at what the market says it's valued at and mm -hmm. get that price. So that's my personal reason. But I do think best offer, there is something to it to where you're probably going to make more sales if you do it. Mm -hmm. So um, now that we're doing bins items, I was thinking about it like next year, kind of maybe editing my listings to include it. To for offers. sure if it, if it makes them pay right away. And then yeah. if it's a bins item, especially if it's like been listed a while... Because <laughs> you have to, you have to put in, or do you have to put in a price um, like that you're willing to accept to automate? You don't have to. I probably okay. would not. That would bother me to get like one dollar. I right. see some people get like one dollar offers on their thirty plus dollar items. So right. I would probably put a minimum accepting price. But so that might be why it. we haven't done it in the past because that that's an extra thing in the step of listing yeah. of thinking what your lowest offer would be. Whereas if you just wait for a message, then you can kind of think of it, yeah. think of it on a line by line right. pace. So, so really, <laughs> I guess the answer is whatever. You whatever. <laughs> we don't really have a, a direct recommendation. Yeah. And I, I don't know if we ever will about anything yeah. reselling. I think reselling is so customizable for everybody. I think the best thing for you to do is to try it out yeah. and see what you think about it. I think that's... Um, because we should yeah. honestly try it out again and yeah, see what we think of it. We should sure revisit I would that. I make more sales if I did it. I yeah. just, it's my own mental health <laughs> issue to really <laughs> I get in a bad mood over low yeah. offers. It really puts me in a bad mood, especially if it's like an item that's like a Patagonia fleece. It's always going to sell for this exact amount. Yeah. And if they're offering me 10 bucks, like it's just irritating. Like they know it's worth more. I know it's worth more. But on the same token, if it. If it's been listed a while, you're right. like, it hasn't sold, that but they've sent me a message. I am going to take that offer. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for <laughs> that support. We do appreciate it. I don't know if you guys could tell. I've had caffeine since our last video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel wired up, so, so I apologize. <laughs> All right. I did bring a few from the house. We're down two batteries now, so we'll try to go quickly. I told him we charged the battery up, so I... We could. Uh, we put a, we put a whole bin of stuff away like, we before we light, started. But now I wish I, we did it. Okay, uh, this Talbot sweater actually I listed this a while ago. Then when I went to bag it up, I thought I saw a flaw on it. But then I went. So this weekend I was like fixing all my flawed thingy, my my flawed listings that I kind of like put in the back burner. Yeah. Me and Chris both looked this over like a million times, and I don't see anything wrong with it. So mm -hmm. I just put it back listed, and it sold that same day for twenty three with discount shipping on Posh. I believe this was a bins item, but like a year ago. Okay. But again, it sold the day I listed it, pretty much. Yeah, we couldn't find anything. Yeah. We'll see. Um, and then this Carhartt Long John I bought. We went on date night on Friday, and yeah, Ark, our local thrift, had a coupon ten off thirty. So we got this and a pair of shoes. So. This was $7.99. Let's just say it was $7.99, even though there was a coupon. Mm -hmm. um, it sold for $30 plus ship the first day. I listed it at $40. Someone said, would I do $30? And I bought it thinking $30 without even looking up comp. So I was happy to turn $8 into $30 overnight. Pretty quick, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, but yeah, that sold in one day. That red one the other time sold in a day. So people, I think, like those long johns. I mean, yeah, yeah that was Carhartt and Camo, but... It is the, the yeah. season for it, too. 
And then two of my figs went out to our viewer, Angela. So thank you so much, Angela. I just listed these. She bought them pretty much that same day. Awesome. Uh, I listed them at $24.95 each, so $49.90 for the pair. And these are from the bin. So thank you, Angela. Angela, thank you so much for all of the amazing yes. support. We do appreciate you so much. We do. All right. Let's not run out of battery. That's <laughs> why. Clark's. Space. Uh, these are some nice Clark's men's. They are also Gore-Tex, so I thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. I did pay $12.99 for them, which is a lot for me to spend on Clark's. I would normally only spend up to 10 if they were in like perfect shape, but I thought the Gore-Tex added some value and I did end up getting 40. It did take a while though, so. Okay. I'd probably buy them again, even at $12.99, but yeah, not a super quick flip. All right, BD. Wrestling shoes, Asics, bought for $10.99, sold for $31 with discount shipping on Poshmark. Always bread and butter. I feel like we sell one every weekend. Wrestling shoe, Asia. yeah. Right, box Q. This is that brand, Troy Lee Designs. These are like a bike short. Um, it's more like a board short, but they also have bike. I think they're like a biking, cycling company. So hmm. anyways, I paid $5.99 for these. I bought I think three pairs of the exact same but they were used so they all had like different flaws in different places so I did not do multi-quantity so one sold like a long time ago and then when we were moving I found a pair and I listed those so that's these ones they sold for 22 22 plus ship and I think I have another pair somewhere probably in my <laughs> pile so yeah it's a good brand to look out for all right B.I. oh this is a good sale this is that CP Shades linen top just a basic plain top from the bins sold for $41.96 plus shipping wow. really pretty quickly for a um, basic top yeah just very basic linen yeah that brand this was probably over $100 shirt new mm. um so below that brand below CP Shades for sure. CP Shades I don't I can't remember that if I've ever heard of that before <laughs> I'm sure I you've only told heard me before of it, yeah, <laughs> that was my first time selling it I own one dress that I found at a thrift store Okay, it's a dance go. And we just sold a pair of dance goes on the, the haul video that we were oh. just recording and that's what I was looking for. That's what was in your black, head, yeah. But these are, this says dance go Reba Gray. So that's these ones. Uh, these ones I paid $8.99 for, sold for $25.16 plus shipping. Very nice. Glad they were in the box that said they were in. I'm hoping we're not <laughs> The system works sometimes. <laughs> Torrid. It's just kind of like um, a gauzy open front cardigan uh, from the bin. Sold for $25.16 plus a bit. That sold pretty quickly. Torrid usually does, especially in the larger three, four, five sizes. All right, box X. Right there. Man, look how empty your upper shelves are. I know. I'm thinking about moving some of them down to that one just to make it easier to grab. Easier to get, yeah, because that one's looking pretty empty still. Right. Um, these are men's Under Armour, like a 4X, just like an athletic short. I did buy these retail arbitrage. I had $8.92 into them. They only sold for $17 with discount shipping, so like maybe a couple bucks profit. They've been listed forever though, so glad to move them. These chubbies from the bins. Yeah. Uh, I said I could get about 30. I probably could have, but I did find a stain on them when I went to list them. So someone offered 20, I took it. I'm again, what, 16 minus bins cost the goods. Okay. So I'm happy with that. And that pattern we've sold a couple times. So yeah, definitely look out for chubbies. That's a good pattern. Yeah. All right, AP. Literally right in front of you. <laughs> All right, so these I have sold before and this was something that did get returned on eBay and they abused the return system to get it, mm. but. It's happened so infrequently yeah. that it's just like whatever, you know, we sell a few hundred items a month on eBay. It's like, yeah. So even though I'm, I resold these again, hopefully no issues. I'm probably about breaking even now the second time Overall. I'm selling them. Yeah. So it's okay. Like if, if it was my fault, like it's no big deal. I probably would have just refunded them and not had them send them back. But this yeah. person said they opened it as not as described and just said 
they can't be a six and a half because they don't fit me right. <laughs> or something like that. So that's lying. <laughs> Just to get a free return label because yeah. that forces the seller to, like if she would have messaged and said whatever, like this doesn't fit me, I would probably have allowed the return. She just needed to pay a return shipping and I'm not refunding her the initial shipping. Right. But she didn't want to lose money. So anyways, uh, I had my cost of goods at this point. I was like 14 something. I think that was including my initial cost of goods and what I lost in the return, in the return. process. So yeah. yeah, this time they sold for 16.76 plus ship. So about breaking even. Okay. It is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's what, you know, over all the sale, that's worth. You know. Right. And, you know, there is a process of us as a seller being able to, like, report that person and go through all this and all that. Yeah. And sometimes it's just not worth it. Right. <laughs> the, once you get the yeah. kind of emotions out of it, it's really not worth your time. Yeah. And that I wish it was. I wish it was. Yeah. I wish there was a better system for eBay. But unfortunately, you know, uh, nobody likes it when that happens. Yeah. But. The best thing to do mm -hmm. is just to write it off and move on yeah. because overall, Don't yeah. Don't upset you. Like in the past, that would have like ruined my whole day. I wouldn't yeah. have put up listings that day because I was just dwelling on it. And now I'm just like, whatever. Yeah. Either refund them and move on or just send the label and move on. I usually block people that, I definitely block anyone who abuses yeah. the, the return policies. So. And I, yeah, I, I, it's not like I like saying that, but the way the system that eBay has, yeah. that's really, they kind of have it to where that's <laughs> the yeah. best thing we can do is just... <laughs> Forget about it. Um, this is a, I never know how to say this, Faraday. That's how I say Faraday? I think it's Faraday. <laughs> um, this was one of my buy, sell, trade kind of flip thingies this last week. So I took some stuff in. They gave me, I don't remember how much dollars, but I bought like three men's button ups. Two of them were this brand. So I can't imagine I have more than maybe $10 out of pocket, yeah. you know, based on what they gave me and then a few extra dollars I paid out of pocket. But this sold really fast for $67.16 plus ship. So just okay. a basic button up. Yeah, I'm saying that's probably at least $40 profit, yeah. so really fast. And so if you think about the, the items that Kathy's traded from the yeah. from the buy-sell trade, essentially taking Ben's items to get higher quality items, they are selling faster for higher dollar. Yeah. So, you know, you would have had to sell three or four items. At least, yeah. To make up for that one item, so and then I've had a lint roll three or four, bag three or four, uh, ship yeah. three or four. Wait for them to sell; yeah. they wouldn't have sold as and fast. Would it have been like I'd been in a bad mood doing it because, like, yeah, it was fun to list this because I handpicked it out. Yeah, at the bins, yes, I'm handpicking out from what there is, but it's not like as exciting as I literally handpicked mm -hmm. that. Anyways, uh, this is a Hurley, just men's Henley knew it tied. This was retail arbitrage for seven dollars. Sold for sixteen seventy six plus ship, so probably about doubling my seven dollars. But I did have multiple of those. That was the last to sell, so I probably okay. did okay on that one listing over time. Yeah. Okay, BJ. These are the Danskill black ones that oh, sold okay. during the last video. Um, yeah, just a nice ankle booty. Bought for twelve ninety nine. Sold for fifty eight seventy six. Not wow. too bad yet. Dance goes like this tend to do better than the typical clog, like a booty or yeah. yeah. These sneakers, like you saw, only sold for twenty five. The booties, I feel like, do really well. Okay, EQ. Oh, am I on the other side now? Yeah. Okay, I'm on the other side now. All right. DQ. DQ. No. EQ. EQ. I don't know my alphabet. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> We're all discombobulated. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a good sale. I did pay up for these because they were retail arbitrage. They're the New Balance 327s. Yeah. I think $39. I have a few pairs of them, I think. This was the first to sell, but it sold 90 for 92 36 plus ships. So wow. I, think I about doubled my $39 there. Nice. Yeah. It's an, that's a good example of paying up. Yeah. That was something I'm, you didn't do when you were right. first starting out. And like that day specifically, I didn't do a video or anything about it, but like I was shopping for myself for some clothes and I was like, you know what? I'm like spending 200 bucks on stuff that I'm keeping for myself. So let me go over to the shoes, see if I can find anything to flip. I found a couple of those. I found a couple of like these Birkenstock sandals, which we've sold one pair already. So I've probably paid for my, what I bought for myself. Wow. Um, anyways, that day is what yeah. I was trying to do that for. Sweet. Yeah. Don't be afraid to pay up if the comps are there. All right, these are some kids' Crocs from the bins. They, I washed them, but they did not come super clean. So someone offered 10, I just accepted. I'm probably making $5 profit. Happy with that. HB. I know, no, no, where is it? Yeah, this one. <laughs> All right, these are from our recent bins haul. Um, the Born Green shoes. I knew somebody would 
amount though. But yeah. Sold really fast for twenty dollars ninety six cents plus shipping. I did notice when I went to listen, they had like a look like a thumbtack went through the heel of one of them. You see that right here? Like a little hole. Oh yeah, with like a <laughs> circle around it. Yeah. So, yeah, I showed that, but they still sold really fast. I didn't know that they had like Christmas trees on the bottom. Yeah, they they're really cute. I knew somebody would want yeah. those. Um, E O. Little Pendleton headband. I wish that worked out for me. I would have loved to keep it. <laughs> Anyways, from the bin, sold for 15. That was an offer someone sent. I accepted. Yeah, Kathy's head has, is a weird shape. Is. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> she said it first, yeah. guys. <laughs> she she's always it's wanted cool. to wear headbands, but they don't um, stay. Hats too. They don't stay. Uh, this was that cute little Bonzi, or however you say that little. Yeah, I think it's Bonzi. The, the last haul. So yeah. I said if it was gonna go for at least 15, I'd list it, and I looked them up. I saw a couple around 20, so I did list it. I think I listed mine at 20 plus ship with our eBay store sale that's like always running. It sold for 17.60 plus ship in like a couple days. So definitely, I would say those are worth listing on your own if you find them out that they're for a dollar or something. Yeah. All right, DH. one of those Pendleton merino wool sweaters from my recent haul. So this one, I did find a hole like kind of somewhere around here. So for that reason, I listed it lower and sent an offer to a watcher of 13 plus ship. So without a hole, probably this would have been a $30 piece with a hole still 13 bucks and it's from the bins. I'm still profiting. Yeah. And I moved it quickly. So versus just tossing it, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's still a nice material. I'm sure someone can just put a couple stitches or even just repurpose the material somehow. Mm-hmm. All right, GN. These are a pair of women's Gap jeans from the bins. Someone offered 22. I was happy to it. GD. Ooh. I think it's right there. <laughs> All right. Where? Like your. Oh. Right there. <laughs> uh. Know this brand i just bought these when i was you know going around getting a bunch of shoes they were in great shape they said made in italy they seemed like a nice leather i'm sure you can't see that but it's like mer canty floor fior and teeny or something like that <laughs> anyways i paid 6.99 they've been listed at least six months at this point someone on ebay messaged would i take 20 and i said yes so yeah they also paid shipping i'm at least probably making eight or nine dollars i'm happy okay dx Sold a Pendleton vintage flannel. I bought for $7.99, sold for $33.56 plus ship. I've had that listed since last winter though, so that one took a while for whatever reason, but still a nice, you know, turn. Yeah, on. yeah. All right, GU. Uh, Sketchers. Slip on. I do not have a cost of goods on these. I don't know what I paid for them, but they sold for 18 plus ship, which is not huge. I would imagine if I got these when I was doing shoes, they're around 10 bucks. Yeah. Probably only making like $5 profit or so. Okay. Okay, EK. EK. EK? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're tricky now, that's all. This one I'm literally just breaking even. Um, these are trotters. They're size women's 12, which is a larger size. Um, and they were like basically brand new, which is kind of why I bought them. And I'm like getting the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. So they're like a snakeskin <laughs> pattern and there's like one part that's just, I see it right here. Yeah. Ugh. They're like grossing me out. You see like... Uh, I have like goosebumps. There's a couple <laughs> scales that look like they peeled up. Anyways, I don't know if that was like a reason somebody didn't want them, but they've been listed forever at this point and someone offered 10 this weekend. I paid seven for them, so I'm making back seven on Posh, so <laughs> someone else can have the heebie-jeebies and yeah. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> you know what that's called? I think that's called tryptophobia uh, i don't know I'm, i don't want to think about it <laughs> uh, i shared this one on my instagram last night the brand of zero the barefoot shoes i bought these at uptown cheapskate so these i bought the day my first time ever going there before i would taken any bins or anything they had them priced at 17.99 so i just paid that price mm -hmm. out of pocket they sold it's been only like a week for 70 dollars so wow 70, so and yeah i noticed and i showed all these flaws but like so they looked really good shape like the treads and everything are in good shape but when i went to list them you know there's like some oh, cracking. cracking yeah and it, they're not like separating from the soles at all but like they're just is cracking a lot around the edges so yeah yeah 
So much disclosed. So much for 70, so I was very happy with that. Okay, G I mean, I've, I've watched YouTube videos. People can do a lot to a pair of shoes. Whether or not that guy's going to do it, I don't know. Yeah, and I mean, it's, that doesn't necessarily affect the wear of them. Yeah. I know that would bother me yet because I think it would look ugly, but... All right, this is that Carhartt just hood that you snap into a jacket. Oh, yeah. From the bin. Someone offered 10. That was pretty much about what they were going for on eBay, 10, 10 to 15 plus ship. So. Okay. I'm going to say that's like $5 profit. Easy listing. Carhartt hood. Yeah. F-H. All right, these little Skechers I bought for $6.99. Someone offered 15. They've been listed for six months. I accepted 15. <laughs> Making a few dollars profit. Okay. Uh, GX. This is that turtle fur uh, wool beanie from the bin, sold on eBay for ten eighty eight plus ship. Okay. Yeah. These are like so easy to list. <laughs> like if I could just like list beanies, I could list probably like a hundred of those easily in a day. You know. Yeah. All right, GW. So this was a recent buy, sell, trade, tech flip thing from Once Upon a Child, though. So I took mm. a bunch of stuff. Both times I went to Once Upon a Child, I I bought some shoes, but I also got like $30, 28 to $30 back, which I took them a normal size tub. So I would say the things I brought them cost no more than that. So I'm considering all the shoes I bought free. Yeah. <laughs> Girl math. Reselling. <laughs> uh, anyways, so I would. We'll see what the bookkeeper I says. I would so. say that these are free, but yeah. someone offered eighteen on Posh this morning, and I accepted because. Okay. Yeah, they were free, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> so if they weren't free, yeah. what would you have spent on those? Getting well, what you got. I used to spend up to ten dollars at Once Upon a Child. You know, these are basically new, but they used to sell for like twenty to twenty-five, and now yeah. about I was thinking I could get twenty, so eighteen was very fair. Okay. Um, I, I wouldn't spend 10, 10 anymore. So no. yeah, like, but I like listing them. So yeah. I would definitely trade stuff. Even if it was like, say I traded two or three items that I paid a couple bucks for. Yeah. For that. I'd rather do that. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Shoe shelf. Oh yeah. This is the one. I need need some grab. assistance. Yeah, yeah. My tall, tall, handsome husband. <laughs> Your tall, mediocre, average height. Which ones? These? No, these ones that you probably can you reach. <laughs> these here? I can jump and get them. I got them. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I don't. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh oh. These ones fell on top of it. Oh, I've made it worse. <laughs> Thank you. All right. This is a nice boot. Uh, these are Irish Shutter. And actually, we got these. It's been over six months because we bought these in Vegas. So oh. These did not get robbed from us. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. The stuff that they took. Obviously, they took all our electronics, which was a lot. But, like, the stuff that they took, they could have taken all my thrift finds, which was a lot of profit. Yeah. So, um, for some reason, I don't think they were in the market no, for stealing clothes like or will. shoes. Maybe <laughs> shoes, but. It's just funny. Um, so, yeah, I got these there. They were $25. I think I got these at Savers, mm -hmm. which we don't have Savers in Colorado. So I like going to Savers whenever we're traveling somewhere that has one. Um, yeah, $25. They finally sold for 65 plus ship. But, yeah, like six months later. So not bad. Nice okay. Boots. Last. We're still upside down a little bit on that trip. <laughs> <That's true>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, oh, yeah, this was a yeah, big this, sale. This was the best sale of the weekend. Uh, best sale of the weekend. I forgot to mention. So we shipped on Friday. No video. Yeah. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw. But that little Disney sweatshirt, the Lion King yeah. one. Yeah. From the last spins haul sold for $199.95. Chris will put the screenshot. I but, will. Um, yeah, that sold the first day I listed it. It had, it sold within an hour of being listed. Mm -hmm. um, I got a message on it within minutes of being listed. Will I take less? Yeah. The only comp I had to go off of really was a $140 one on bid. That was fairly recent. Mm -hmm. That was similar, a little bit of a smaller size, I think. It wasn't so, as, I don't think the color was yeah. as cool. It was like all more blue. Right. Like blue toned, but and the, but there was nothing as high as I listed my buy. Yeah. I listed it at that, knowing it would drop into our eBay sale, which it sold before it ever dropped into our eBay sale. So that was great. Yeah. Um, the person that actually bought it also messaged, "Would I take less?" But I said, "No, thanks," because I just listed it. I said, "If it doesn't sell in thirty days, I'll drop price." But right now, this is the best price. Yeah. And I noticed it already had like six watchers within the first hour. So it, people have safe search for that definitely. Yep. Yep. Um. So yeah, that's old. That's crazy. Bolo. I don't think it's all Disney. I think it's Lion King specifically. Lion People King love specific. Lion King. Those shirts that have front and back graphics, colorful, and says made in the USA on the tag. Yeah. 
kids, adult, whatever. So <laughs> follow those. Quite a bit more than the thirty dollars yeah. you were thinking, because these were this was a yeah. kids too. I, I said thirty, but like I I kind of had a hunch that it would be more. I did not think it was going to be a two hundred dollar. Two hundred dollar, yeah. For sure. And honestly, that it sold that fast with that many watches, it probably could have went for a little more. Two fifty, maybe two yeah. three. I you know you never know. I'm so curious where people sell that stuff, and like there's got to be like vintage groups. Yeah. That sell those. Yeah. So. That I'm was happy. a great sale, yeah. but this was also a really good sale. This was. So this is that Burton AK jacket from a different men's haul. This sold less than 30 days, right? Yeah. For $159 on eBay plus shipping. That was an offer I sent a watcher, so I probably could have, you know, waited out, get got closer to $200, yeah. but I'm very happy with 159 Absolutely. Um, so Polo, I mean, Burton in general, yeah, this was Gore-Tex too. I think that helped it, but... Yeah. A nice Burton jacket in general, you could probably get a hundred bucks for. So. Right. I mean, Burton, that was the yeah. one of our other really the good snowboard. sales. We had a kid's <laughs> snowboard, Burton yeah. snowboard. And that sold for three something? Uh, yeah, 380, three eighty, three. Three fifty something, three I can't remember. It was three something. It was my <laughs> second best sale. It was a yeah. lot of money. <laughs> you spent, I don't know, 30 bucks on it. Yeah. But man, look at that. Yep. All the stuff going out. Pretty good sales. Ben's has been paying off pretty good. Because yeah, it's almost all profit, you know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Camera's all weird. But yeah, awesome. So we're going to, I feel like the battery's going to go out yeah. any any second. Um, we're going to get this stuff home. Kathy's going to get it packed up. I got some videos to edit and get out to you guys, but that's going to do it for this one. Any last words? Any final words? Nope, not this time. Not this time. <laughs> guys, thank you your, so much. <laughs> I was going to say thanks for your help on letting me choose last week. That yeah. helped me go to bed. So. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. No. Thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.